What's up guys? Anthony again with Granddaddy Herbs. Got a pretty cool video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys the three beater dragons and their enclosure. Um, so yeah. Um, this tank right here is about six foot wide. Or not six foot wide. Um, actually, is it six foot wide? Whatever, six foot wide. Six feet long, whatever you want to say. And in here I have three adult female bearded dragons that all get along very well. They've all grown up together, so... You know, over the years, I think they've all only fought each other, like, maybe like once or twice. And they never get serious. They just, you know, chase each other around. Um, you know, basically plain rough. That's about it. Um, you can see this one's got a nip tail. It's not from it's not from these guys. Got her as a as a as a baby like that. That one's got her full tail. And look, no chew marks on it or anything. So, I mean, you can tell they don't bite each other. She's a sandfire breeder dragon. That one is a uh, schizo. She's a citrus pastel. Um, and the setup I have, there's a, I think that's a 100 or 150 watt bulb. I forget. I believe it's, it's 100 because 150 would be cooking them. But there's a homemade little pyramid teepee that I made for them. Um, I actually, um, um, where I found the bearded dragon eggs that I'll show you. Um, there's a log that they love to burrow out and go inside. And then they climb up there to get right up under the, um, the UV light. Um, but yeah, so I have a uh, desert, a desert bulb up top. That's why it's looking kind of red. And then I have the 100 watt right there. And then I've got a really, really big UV light. So make sure they all get plenty of UV. And I gotta hide back there for them to hide. And yeah, I know you heard me say three bearded dragons, but I don't think you'll be able to really see this one. Um, see if I can zoom in and get her. But she's sleeping right there. Let's see. Yeah, she's sleeping. She loves to sleep back there. She is a lazy. That's what you call a lazy lizard. But sometimes, guys, and here's a little tip for you. Um, especially when they're younger, basically don't give them any hides because you want to make sure that they get, get their UV light. You want to make sure that they're basically either basking, you know, under it or that they can't really hide from it. Because, let me tell you, they can get bone disease pretty fast. I've never had any experiences with any of my lizards getting that, but um, my brothers did have um, MBD, and it's because he had a really, really tall tank, and they like to hide all day. Not good. These guys are fat, juicy, healthy, plump, overweight, and uh, you know they're happy lizards. You know, can't really complain. They got a nice little desert background. The same background that everybody freaking has in their house. So I think I got mine from I got mine from Triple L Reptile in Oceanside, but it's the same one I think they sell in like Petco and stuff. And then uh, got a piece of cardboard that's not on the inside; it's on the outside. Um, it just kind of helps make them feel more secure. Like this side is boarded off by the snake rack, and so they can basically only see out. But yeah guys, there's my basic setup. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. But, you know, eventually um, I do want to make a tank or or customize it to where, you know, you, you make cement in there and you make uh, cliffs and, and uh, tunnels and different things like that. But, you know, I'll have to look into it and learn how to do that. Um, but yeah guys. See you guys later. Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs. Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs here showing you a skits of the bearded dragon. 
Well, a couple months ago, right before my male um, Citrus Blast Bearded Dragon died, he uh, mated with her. And, um, you know, I thought she was pregnant, I thought she was successful and whatnot, but I never saw any eggs. Well, digging through the reptile tank, found 18 eggs that she did lay um, in a spot that I never would have guessed that she would have laid them. I even put in a lay bin and everything for her and she never laid in it so figured she just wasn't wasn't gravid or anything wasn't pregnant um, turns out I was wrong I missed out on 18 eggs but you know it's okay um, it's always next time and I'll be a little bit smarter with my setup and stuff 